Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little doll and she's posable because she has wire in her arms and in her legs. And you're going to need some felt and a little bit of fiber fill stuffing or even some cotton balls to make this doll. And at the end of the video I'll show you how to turn this felt into these little polka dots. The little pinafore has a button so you can button it on after. And I just tied a little bit of yarn around her hair there to keep it in place. To make this little doll first I drew it on a piece of paper and then I drew out a pattern. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the link below in the comments and find the link so that you can download your pattern for free. And then you're just going to go ahead and cut out your pattern pieces. So you are going to have to cut one of the pieces down the center because in order to get it on over her head this hole is too small. So that's the reason we need a little pair of underwear. And I'm going to put some chenille stems inside the arms and legs and the body. So I'm going to take two pipe cleaners and I'm just going to twist them together. Before I remove the pattern from the fabric, I'm going to mark these features. I'm just going to use a ballpoint pen, puncture through where the eyes are, and I'm just going to make sure that the marks are coming through. And now you can remove the paper from the pattern. Just take one of the dress shapes, fold it in half like that, and just cut along the fold. To sew your doll, you can either use embroidery floss or just regular sewing thread. Before sewing up the doll, I'm going to do the facial features. So I have three strands of embroidery floss, and I'm just going to do the little freckles. I'm just going to do that with one stitch. For the eyes, I'm just going to use regular sewing thread. Now I'm going to start sewing the body up. I'm going to use some pink thread. I'm going to start here at the shoulder and I'm just going to start from the inside and I have a knot at the end of my thread. Tuck that in. And you're just going to take tiny little stitches. Just very small stitches. And when you do this little overhand stitch like this, finish your stitches, they will stretch open like that. So I'm going to sew all the way like this until I get here. Okay, I've sewn all the way around like that. And I'm just going to put a little bit of stuffing in the tips of the hands and in the tips of the feet. So now I'm just going to fold the chenille stems to the correct length so that I can slide them down inside of the arms and the legs. Twist them together. Like that. And I'm going to slide this inside the body. and then just continue to sew up to here, then stuff the head, and then finish sewing up the body. Okay, there's how it all looks. And now we're going to make some hair. Unfortunately, the segment for making the hair did not 
record. So all I did was take a bundle of yarn and I tied it in the center like this and then I brought it over to the top of the head and I probably had about three times as much yarn as this and then I just sewed it on the top of the head and then I did the same thing with a smaller bundle and I attached that in front of the large bundle. And attach the bangs here. And I've already gone ahead and sewn her little pants and I've put them on. Sewed the seams of the little dress and I'm going to show you how to add a button and a buttonhole. Okay, I've gone ahead and sewn a button on this side. I made a knot in my thread and I pulled it through. Now I'm just going to take one stitch right there and then I'm going to come up at the top and I'm going to take a stitch and I'm going to leave a loop here and this loop is going to have to be long enough to be able to pass over the button like that. If you have the loop as large as you need take a couple of stitches here just to hold that loop. Now we're going to do the buttonhole stitch. Place the needle through the loop and then it has to go through that loop again. I'm just going to do that all the way across your loop. And when you worked all the way across, just take a couple of stitches right here. Now you can leave those stitches on the outside, but I've turned them to the inside. And there's the finished doll. To make a headband, I wrapped a chenille stem all around her head, and then I twisted it here. And now I can just bring this down into two loops and shape it into a little bow. Another segment that did not record was how I added just an orange crayon, and then I just added some glow to her face by rubbing this orange crayon around. So that could be her St. Patrick's Day headband. And you could change it for each of the holidays. But I'd like her dress to have polka dots, so I'm just going to take my bamboo skewer and some light colored paint, and I'm just going to add some polka dots all over her dress. So it's a cute little felt doll that you can make with a little bit of hand stitching and a small amount of felt.